we are doing a documentary film over the probation office. And we interviewed Jim Grizzle over what kind of work that he does. And he had some very interesting things to say. See, when uh, they would send him to a couple of years of probation, um, we would uh, watch offenders. Uh, make sure they're not committing any more crimes, make sure they're doing any kind of counseling, uh, making sure any payments are paid as far as restitution, things of that nature. Okay, and um, what are the different types of probation? Uh, basically, there's really only two types of probation. Um, there's adult and, and juvenile. Um, adults are for offenders who are 18 and over. Um, they've committed an adult crime, obviously, and they go through the adult system. We have juvenile probation, which are broken down into two types of probation. Um, juveniles are those under the age of 18 who have committed a crime, either a status or non-status offense. And the juveniles tend to get a little confusing with all the ways they're broken down. And status offenders are um, something only a juvenile can do, like uh, kids under 18, the age of 18 cannot smoke cigarettes. They're caught with cigarettes, that's considered a status offense. Non-status offenders are um, adult crimes, something an adult can do, like uh, stealing, theft, um, battery, burglary, things of that nature like I was talking about. And then from there we go to informal or formal probation. Formal probation is when we take a juvenile through the court system. We feel it's serious enough to have to see a judge and prosecutor and all that kind of good stuff. And informal probation is just like uh, if you and I were sitting here and you were in trouble, um, we make an agreement that you had to follow these rules of probation and we would, we would avoid the court system. Um, informal probation is for six months and formal probation is only for a year. Typically. Okay. Um, what is the difference between juvenile and adult probation? Well, like I, like I was just saying, the, if you're under the age of 18, that's a juvenile. Now, juveniles can be waived to adult court um, if, if their crimes are serious enough or if they have enough, enough history. But like I said, juveniles are those under the age of 18, adults are 18 and up. Okay. Um, is a, a probation officer elected or is he appointed? A probation officer is. Uh, we go through a hiring process, then we're appointed by the judge. Uh, from there, we, we uh, uh, like when I was hired, uh, I submitted an application. Uh, I was reviewed by the chief probation, probation officer, Ray Harris. Um, judge Lobb, excellent judge. He interviewed me, and then I was appointed by Judge Lobb to be the probation officer. Okay. Um, what, what kind of qualification did you need to become a probation officer? You needed to uh, have a four-year bachelor's degree. Does not matter, and it can be in animal husbandry for all they care. As long as it's a four-year bachelor's degree, you have to go through a a week-long orientation. They do that through Indianapolis here in Indiana. It goes over all the rules and regulations of probation officers. You have to. Uh, well, what else? You have to, you have, of course, submit the application to, to them, and you have to take a test um, regarding your knowledge of, of what a probation officer has to do and things of that nature, court terms and things like that. Once you do all that um, and, and you do it successfully, you're appointed by the uh, Chief Justice of Indiana. Okay. Um, what's your favorite thing about your job? Uh, well, I, we can help a lot of people in my job. We see a lot of kids come through that are troubled. I, I try to work primarily with juveniles, and um, I we do I do do a lot of the adult stuff too. Um, there's a lot of a lot of adults we got to help and, and move on to places and get them out of the situation they're in. And there's a lot of you know juveniles come in troubled and have family problems, and not we don't just act as a probation officer, but we're almost kind of a counselor too. We sit down and talk to them, give them something to talk to. Um, we try to treat everybody fair. I think that's why I like the best is, is definitely helping people. Helping them move on with their lives. Okay, um, what's the least? My least favorite thing? Mm -hmm. <sighs> That's kind of hard to say because there's, there's not, I don't like giving a drug test too much because we, the, the adults have, or juveniles have to urinate in the cup and I have to stand there and watch them. That's not a whole lot of fun. Um, dealing with, uh, with parents that are unruly. Most of the time when kids come in, they've been in trouble and, uh, a lot of times the parents are coming down hard on the kids. But every now and then we get a parent that isn't happy with us, you know, not focusing on the kid, but focusing on the punishment that is possibly coming through the court system. So I'd say that's probably one of my least favorite things. Okay. Um, what's the maximum time a person can spend on probation? The whole life. 
Um, if you're if you're sentenced to, uh, say you've been convicted of attempted murder, or murder, which which is actually a separate category in, in the Indiana court system from all the rest. Um, if they get out of jail or the Department of Corrections prison, um, after they do some time, because I guess they're going to be time if they do that, they can be sentenced on probation rather than be sentenced to life in prison. They could be sentenced to life on probation. So, so you can actually do a whole life on probation. Um, the, the lowest amount of sentencing I've ever seen has been, uh, I think I've gone for three months one time. But, but that's about the range of it. Okay. Um, what's the worst thing anybody's ever going to be put on probation? What's the worst thing anyone has ever done in our county? In our county, um, it kind of depends on what you think is the worst thing. I mean, everybody kind of has a different opinion. You, some people may say we've had we had a guy on probation um, currently for attempted murder, um, and that that was an old case, but we still have him on probation. I had a lady on probation who was dealing cocaine to to some high school students at the high school, uh, within a thousand yards of high school, it was right outside of it, you know, on, on the road. Um, she was on probation for 20 years. She's doing great. What I consider the worst thing to be on probation for is uh, is child molesting, or um, uh, we had a guy that um, that met a lady over the internet, and he took her to a cabin and basically chained her to a toilet and tortured her, uh, and, and he was on he's on probation for that. So it's kind of your 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 own opinion on what you feel is worse. I, I feel child molesters are the worst people in the world, and, and I feel if anybody's on probation for that, that's the worst person I have. So. Okay. Um. If somebody has been good, like while they've been on probation, can you suggest to a judge that their sentence be lessened? We we can do that. Usually, what happens is that that's kind of a different process. If someone wants off probation early and they're doing they've, they've done a good job, I'll I'll, ta I'll basically take them and hold their hand and step them through each process they need to go through to be supportive of them. Um, they have to go to the clerk's office and file a minute entry. Um, when they file the minute entry, they uh, they go into court and they speak to the judge, and I have my file and the prosecutors there, and we all make our recommendations, the prosecutor and myself, because I work for the judge. I don't work for the prosecutor or, or the defense. I'm kind of a third party. Um, we make a recommendation on, on whether that offender should be off probation or have a sentence reduced or something of that nature. So, so yes, we can do that, but it's really the offender's responsibility to go do that. Now, if they ask me and they've done a good job, I'll, I'll certainly help them. Yes. Okay. Well, I guess we're done. So, um... Thanks for your time. Okay. Thank you very much. It's good. Right. Thank you. You guys have a good one. Now we're going to have some public opinion on what people think about the probation office. Okay, we're here with Wyatt Sellings. Wyatt, do you know what probation is? Yes, probation is where, say, you get in trouble, you have to go to the probation officer. He talks to you, he uh, determines whether you should be on probation or not. And uh, if you do, you get community service, then he takes you to the judge. The judge hears what you have to say, and then the probation officer tells him what he thinks, and the judge gives you your term for your probation sentence. Thank you. Okay, we're here with Mr. Ward, the dean of students. Mr. Ward, do you know who the probation officers are? Yes, I do. I'm here too in Crawford County. The head probation officers, Ray Harris, and I guess you could say his assistant. I'll try to have his assistant, but the one who needs him is Jim Grizzle. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're here with Wayne Griffith, and Wayne, do you know what um, probation is? Yes, probation is something where you get in, if you get in trouble with the law or something and you're underage, you can get put on probation. It's basically just for juvenile delinquents, and it's where you have to check in with the guy, and he makes sure you're staying out of trouble and doing what's right with the law and everything. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're here with Jerry Hanger. Mr. Hanger, what happens if a student that's in sports gets on probation? Well, we had to, to find out what the offense is because we do have a training rules uh, paper that we have all the kids sign that's got different categories. And if if they have to go into uh, probation, obviously it's, it's a penalty that's, uh, uh, that's going to be probably pretty severe uh, depending on uh, severity of it. It could be a 21-day uh, out of athletic competition suspension, it could be the remainder of the season. Uh, for example, if it involves theft, felony theft, or anything like that, uh, we could put them out of the expulsion for the year if it's drugs. But our drug policy at the school says that they're only out for 21 days. 
So, it, uh, but the second time that they're, they're caught on a fence, it's a possibility for the remainder of the year. So the severity of, of the action or the penalty that they had is going to depend upon our training sheet. But uh, it's not a good sign that they're on probation. But I will say this: um, there is some first time uh, first time issues that, that kids realize they've made a mistake, and, and the school's also willing to work with those kids and work through the problems and see because sometimes the, the, the kid needs us more than, than we need them. And we've got to look at the individual and see what their problems are, what issues they have, and see if we can also help the student. By staying in athletics, sometimes that makes it better for the student. And uh, so we try to work with them. Uh, but if they're a continual problem and it's a detriment to our student body as a whole and to the athletic department, uh, we've got rules. We'll, it's in black and white, and we'll abide by it. Thank you. Okay, we're here with Eric, our cameraman. Eric, do you know what probation is? Um, probation is where if somebody gets in trouble, they're sent to the probation office. They can be a juvenile or adult, depending on their age. And they're punished depending on the crime. I mean, if it's just a small crime, they get a month or two probation. And then, just depending on the severity of it, they get punished for what they do. I mean, they go down and talk to the probation officers and they tell them what they got to do. Sometimes they're on there for like a seven months, maybe a year or two, just like um, other stuff. Drugs. If they're in there for drugs, they're probably, I would say, probably a year or so. And after. <laughs> okay, we're here with Eric and Eric. She came out. <laughs> okay, we're here with Eric and Eric, our two cameramen, and, um, do you guys know what probation is? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this concludes our documentary and I hope you guys liked it. Thanks. And cook.